Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. Okay, hopefully that's working all right. Anyway, thanks for all the chips. Delicious. Wow. Uh, so... Hi, Roos and cats, if you're there. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, Pollock is actually just ch chirping, squeaking. Not meowing, because he doesn't know how to meow, but... The equivalent. I hope he does it again. That's why I, that's why I swapped scenes here. Anyway, real quick. Hi, how's it going? Aw, oh, squeaky. Yeah, he's being a little squeaky. Probably because he's thinking it's close to dinner time, but it's not just yet. So he can wait a little bit. Anyway, thanks for all the delicious chips. Hello, everybody. Is Arturus hungry? Yeah, but right now he's sleepy. Arturus is sleeping curled up in his cat tree, and Pollux is actually sleeping curled up in my little round chair. Um, let's go ahead and get the formalities out of the way. My name's Crimson Ruse, I'm Elysium's greatest monster hunter, and I am your least favorite idol. Currently, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Hunt Showdown, but I will be trying my best not to scream directly in your ears now that I'm using a 3D mic. It might get a little loud, but I'll try not to let it get out of hand. Cool? Cool. Glad we sorted that out. Anyway, one second. I'm also going to try not to let any of my gross mouth sounds exist. You know, like going... Or... So, I'm going to do my best not to do that. Uh, but I do have, you know... Real anime boy mouth sounds. Which is to say that sometimes when I open my mouth, there will be an annoying sound. And uh, I apologize, but I'll try my best not to let that happen. Cool. Cool. Why, though? Because I don't like it. <laughs> That's it. Just mostly because I, 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 I find it um, jarring, maybe even a little skin crawling to have that happen to me. So I imagine you guys don't like it. Some of you guys might like it. I don't know. It takes a lot of different types to enjoy um, 3D mic audio, so to each their own. But for me, personally, I would freak out. <laughs> I'm trusting you with my eardrums today, Ruz. Wow, thanks. I'm going to make the worst sounds you've ever heard in your life. Happy birthday, Aki. As long as you aren't slurping, it's fine. All right, here comes the slurping. Slurp. Mouth sounds are bad since Rainbow. See? See? It takes all sorts. That's what I'm saying. That is a mistake in trust. That is a mistake in trust, but that's okay. Okay, let me fix all my wires here. I've got a lot of wires on me, and then we're gonna I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna be doing today, and then we will get started. One second. Uh, let me turn on my Oh, too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. D. I meant to have a BGM there, but I didn't. T Okay. I know, sorry, yeah, my bad. Listen, I didn't mean to do that. It just happened. Still thinking what the Minecraft eating sounds would be like with a 3DO. You probably don't want to know. All right, let me turn this down just a little bit more. You hate us. No, it was an accident. Accidents happen. I was prepared and had my volume down. That's wise. I don't want to know. I know you don't want to know. But it was funny. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. I, uh... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta keep my voice quiet. Shh, shh, go back to a whisper. Go back to a whisper. Um, <laughs> I have to talk myself down. Shh, shh, quiet, Ruse. Go back to a whisper. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I didn't mean to, but it did make me laugh. So my bad. I mean, I do hate you. I do hate you, but uh, typically I won't betray your trust in that way. Anyway, Ruse, are you sure you're okay? I'm trying my best. I never use headphones anyway. If you're not using headphones, this is just going to sound like me whispering a lot. If you are using headphones, theoretically, it should work like this. Let me run a quick test. So this is directly in front of you if you're using your headphones. Now this should be on your left side if you're using your headphones. And this should be on your right side if you're using your headphones. How'd that work? Yes? No? Maybe? Terrifying? Yeah, Ruse crawling around my room. ASMR? Yeah, hold on. And this is the sound of me scuttling across the floor coming to get you when you least expect it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Saressa. Saressa, for 
the <laughs> chips. I hope you take care of your throat. Whispering can be harder on the vocals. Gives cough drops. Parry. I parry those cough drops. I don't need those. Rear's crab. Real. Here he comes. Oh no. He's scuttling so quickly. Is he over here? Is he over there? Where is he? This is the ASMR nobody asked for. Rear's sneaking up on you with an axe going <laughs> quietly to himself. Oh no. The ASMR nobody wanted. You're running through the woods alone. It's scary. It's dark. There's a fog rolling in. And you hear... <laughs> in the distance. Oh, no. The roleplay nobody wanted. <laughs> ah, tasty. That's me, Shia LaBeouf. All right, where were we? We're in ASMR Whisper Zone, you know what that means. It's bed t Oh no, Aura died. Well, oh, sorry guys, Aura was the first to get taken out by, um, Bruce with an axe in the woods. Are we doing 380 version of your one hour in a minute and Bruce laughter? We are not, but that would be actually really funny. Maybe I could do that at some point. That could be funny, just surprise you about which side. It's oh, <laughs> okay, so future possible, maybe I could make this like a membership thing. Future possible content, what if? <laughs> Uh, it's ASMR, but you're alone in the woods and you can't tell where Ruse is at, ASMR. <laughs> is he here? Is he here? <laughs> Hi, Gavis Battle. Hello, Battalion. Thank you for uh, stopping by today. I'm doing a little bit of soft voice. Soft voice, I guess. We're going to be quiet. I'm going to whisper at you and we're going to play on Showdown. We're going to have relatively cozy rootin' tootin' cowboy lootin' uh, body shooting, booty scooting, uh, darn tooting, cowboy time. <laughs> We're gonna play on showdown. Neuroro, thank you so much for the 20 gifted memberships, and thank you for being Rosada for two months. Ariana May. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna turn on a little mood lighting. We're gonna get over to the game. I did want to quickly, for those who don't know, I'm just gonna real fast explain the game. Hunt Showdown is a competitive shooter game where you try to escape an area after killing a demon and collecting his soul. However, everybody else is also there for the demon's soul. So while you have the soul, you are a target because people will kill you to take that soul from you and sell it themselves. Because these are all cowboys. They want money. They're not here to help the world. They're not here to kill demons because they care. They just want the money for turning in the soul. Okay, okay. Wacky Warrior 3, thanks for being an axle. Just a small membership downgrade for the milestone because I want to try and make the glucose guardian by my... Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Uh, still enjoy the merch. Just got to be silver coin, not gold for a while. <laughs> no more glucose guardians. Uh, is your voice dead? Also, honk honk. My voice is not dead. I'm just being... I'm whispering at you. You're welcome. Put on headphones if you want it to be 3D. If you are... One more time. I'm only going to say this a few times today. If you want the audio to be 3D, wear headphones. This should be on your left. This should be on your right. Now you understand the difference. Hell yeah, Ping Loaf. I hope you're liking it. Oh, I got a little loud. My bad. Left ear is so close. Oh, sorry. Hold on. This should be on your left. Let me lean away. This should be on your right. Yeah. So anyway, what did we do, Battalion? Uh, what, did we, what were we up to today? What were we playing? What were we enjoying? I think it was Fall Guys, right? Lick the ear. I'll kill you. Uh, I will just hit I will hit you in the head with a rock so hard. All right, can I say that? I shouldn't say that. I will make your life worse somehow. So ready for POV. You're one of Bruce's cats sitting on his desk watching him play video games. <laughs> yeah, if you hear the cats in the background, sorry, my bad. Your body's flickering, don't worry about it. The eclipse broke battle. Ooh, brutal. Haunted by the eclipse. Oh my god. Don't apologize for cats. Uh, uh, as an EP cowboy, Shannon once said, Country gnomes take my bones. I'm going to sleep at some point and I feel that. Hell yeah, banana. Those country gnomes are coming for those bones. Okay, one second. I just got to. Uh, 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 I'm fixing the setup. And I think everything should be ready now.
Hold on a second. I'm fixing the in-game audio at the same time. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Why aren't you guys hearing that? You guys don't hear in-game audio, do you? What is this? I want that I want that stick. That's a cool stick. What is that? What is this? Valor. Anyway, let me focus. Let me focus. Hold on. No game audio, but your audio is okay now. Okay, hold on. No game audio. No game audio. No game audio. We had this working the other day, and everything was fine. Maybe what I need to do is do... There's a buzzing sound. Yeah, that's my PC. You're just going to have to tolerate that for a second. Don't worry. Once we get into the game, you'll stop hearing it. Maybe something I didn't update. Mm -hmm. One moment. I might need to change some audio settings. Ah, uh, I see what happened. Hold on. Okay, now, careful. This might be loud. Okay, that should be better. Ignore my chair squeaking around. Sorry. I'm not that sorry. Now we can hear the game. Great. I'm not going to turn it up much louder than this, so I'm probably going to not be as audio file as I usually am, uh, which is to say that I'm not going to be able to hear as well as I usually do because I'm going to have the game quieter. But if I don't do that, you're going to hear everything and you're not going to like that. No one's going to like that. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, that wasn't me, that was the game. The game just got loud. <sighs> wow. <laughs> they just started singing really loud. <laughs> I turned it down, I turned it down. Whoa, they snuck that in on me. Wow. Scary. I just want to check something real quick, and then we'll get going. Whoa. Whoa. I want those. Oh, all I have is these lame throwing knives. Damn. What is this? Oh, it's a baseball bat skin. That's so cool. I want that bad. I'll get it later. I don't have... Oh, I do have the money to get it. Oh, do I want a baseball bat skin? Wait, these lyrics... Don't these lyrics go kind of hard? Scrolling furiously ASMR. I don't really use the baseball bat. I've never touched it yet. Lean Dindo, thank you for the soup. This song's so good. I might pick it up later, but let's get in the game. Let's focus. All right, so I've already maxed out this hunter. So we're going to switch over to the bile. Uh, the other plate... I do play Dodger skins now. Isn't that sick? They added play Dodger skins. It's time to lock in. All right, we're going to get in the actual game now. It's time. This guy's good with bows, and I think bows are good ASMR content, so let's do a bow build. I don't usually go super crazy with bow build. Oh, crossbow. Wow, do I have a crossbow? Oh, I only have a hand crossbow. Hmm. That's fine, so we'll do a hand crossbow, and then we'll do a different main weapon. I've been catching up on membership odds, and I'm fascinated by your creativity. I'm curious, have you played Valheim? I have, actually. It's a gritty Norse survival, uh, gritty Norse-themed survival adventure with an immersive building system. So, uh, karaoke lightoscope. I have played Valheim. I enjoy Valheim a lot. I would love to do a. What I would want to do, I think, is a Valheim server of some sort with the Tempest and Armus boys at some point. But the issue with that is I'd have to get a server set up, and that's going to take time. So I'm waiting for now until I'm. until I'm at a good stopping point in my Minecraft kick, because I think that's going to take over the Minecraft slot for a while. But soon, soon I hope. All right, let's get a mainline gun, shall we? Uh, let's go ahead and rock with a. I kind of want to do a Vetterly. I like the Vetterly, okay. Yeah, let's do a Vetterly and we'll do. This one's kind of clean. I like that, the Mountain Air. Yeah, and then we'll do a Blunt Weapon. No, actually, I'm, I'm too reliant on my knives. I like knives a lot. And you know what? Let's grab
have some poison trip mines for fun. And a vitality shot. A vitality shot. And since I'm a plague doctor, it feels wrong not to take a poison shot. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Oh, why are you looking like that, bud? Are you okay? Are you alright, buddy? I'm late. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lumi. So we're going to start with doubles. For those of you unaware of how this game works, um, it is a game that you have to play against teams, usually, so you should be going in with a teammate, but I don't know anybody who plays this game right now, so I'm going to go in solo, and then I could also do trios, but right now I'm just going to go kill duos by myself. Now, the reason this is difficult is because, as a solo player, um, you know, you only die once, where duo players can pick each other up. And also, you're being shot at from two different sides, which is tough. Yeah, Altair does play this game. I think Battle plays it. I think I've seen Shinri play it. And... I think that might be it. I think, uh... Well, no, I think I saw Vesper and Magni play this once. Maybe. How about Winfield Medium? Better aim, more custom ammo. Can levering also. I do like Winfield pretty well, but I actually... If I'm gonna use... So I like the Vetterly because I really like that it has a uh, really good um, hip fire, so you don't have to aim down sights all the time. It's really good at mid-range with hip fire. It also has incredibly good iron sights for long range, so that's nice. I do like the Wheatfield okay, but when I'm taking budget builds, I actually prefer the Springfield. Oh yeah, Arturus plays this game too, yeah. My cat plays it all the time. All right, let's do this, gamers. I'm gonna try my best to stay soft, I promise. Let me get a big old chug of my stamina potion, but I'm gonna do it really quiet, hold on. So, on tie, I actually like the Sparks okay now, but for a long time I had a huge vendetta against it and I hated it. Mostly because early on when the game was, you know, just starting to get kicking around, Sparks was the meta. So you would run Sparks and then the, um, really long ammo pistol, I forget the name of it, and that was like what everybody ran, and it was super tedious, and I got sick of it, so I ended up running budget build Springfields, because, I mean, it's the same thing as the Sparks, as long as you're landing headshots, obviously it can't shoot through walls as well, but I still like it, and I just got so used to using the Springfield, yeah, the uppercut, I got so used to using the Springfield that I just kind of fell in love with it, I, I do like the Sparks now, though. So what you're seeing here is uh, called Dark Sight. It's where my hunter, who has been injected with a shot that makes me immune to the zombie plague, goes into a vision where they can see, like, rifts in the world that lead to hell. And if I collect one of those rifts, it points me closer to the monster that I'm hunting, the demon, because a hunter must hunt. Mind if you reset the mic? I think I'm hearing you a little more on the left. Not sure if it's just me, though. I'm on earbuds. You probably are, and that's probably because I can't have the mic directly in front of me or it blocks my camera, and then you wouldn't see me is a bummer. So, typically I would rush right in and grab this clue, but instinct tells me, for some reason, I, I, I get a hunch there might be players over there heading for the same clue, so I'm going to wait here for a second and see if they try to get it, and then I'm going to tap them, because the clue's right up in that little treehouse. I could be wrong, but something in my head says this is where it's at. Is the crocodile still a thing? Yes. Yes, it is. I'll try to turn to you when I talk to you so that it's not off-center. Is this better? Is this directly in the middle now? Now, if I'm talking this way over here, you're going to hear me more in your left ear. And if I'm talking this way over here, you should hear me more in your right ear. Looks like I was wrong about my hunch. All right, let's get in there and get this clue and be done with it. Good with crossbows. I should probably rely on my crossbows. speakers. Don't put me on speakers, then you don't hear the 3D audio, then what's the point? Ooh, I took damage there. Uh-oh. Yucky. Alright, I'm gonna head over to Devon Ranch. We're gonna go 
go east. Let's go. It's haunted time. What if full surround sound on the TV? Well, then you're subjecting everybody in your area to be that's fucked up and evil of you. So the interesting thing about these little hives is that their heads actually hang off the side of their body because they're bent over backwards with their spine broken. So you gotta aim to the right side instead of at the headshot level to kill them, which isn't always fun. It makes them a little annoying sometimes to head tap. I'm gonna try to heal, heal up real quick before I keep going, especially since those crows just gave me away. Um, in your professional opinion, gamers, can I turn up the game value more? Is it too much already? I'm so different with headphones on. Yeah, it sounds weird, right? Turn it up a little. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up just a little. You're just gonna have to get really immersed with me. We're just gonna have to dive deep into the swamp here. Because I need to be able to hear enemy hunters. We'll find out. This game's really growing on me because of you. Good. I might check inside this house real quick for a healing kit. Die. Oh, here's one. Dies because of a prank. Lucky. Alright, so the bounty's over here somewhere. Oh. Someone's already coming. We gotta hurry. Alright, new plan. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hug the right side of this fence. I'm going to approach from the back end so that I come in from the north because they're going to be checking from the south where all those gunshots are. So I'm actually going to go the long way around and try to approach from down here. They won't expect anybody coming from down here. So give me just a second here. Let's do this. Now we're going to be very quiet, steady now. The water in this game is exceptionally loud. However... When you're crouch walking in it, you can see how insanely slow I am, because I'm essentially, like, up to my stomach, crouched over, trying to move through deep water. It's very hard, but it is the most quiet way you're going to be able to get through this. So this is the way to go. Do not run through water in this game. Any newbie tips for folks who want to try playing? Yeah, lazy egg chickadee. Two things. One, don't be afraid to go fast. Speed is your friend. Gator legs is a really good uh, ability I like a lot. Two... Um, sound is significantly more important than sight in this game, but if you are relying on your eyes, don't try to pinpoint details, just look for movement. Because everything's going to be a gray, brown, green, blended mess in your eyes, don't look for, like, specific details, look for movement. But you need to move fast, too many new players move really slow in this game, and they never get through, like, two clues before the boss is done. I mean, I was moving relatively quick. And the boss was done by the time I got one clue. 
Now, part of that's my fault because I stopped to wait at the first clue to see if anybody showed up. But part of that's because I wasn't going fast enough. Okay, so it sounds like the team from the south's already here. Fortunately, I think they're going to get the bounty before I can get in here. Maybe I can sneak in and grab it real quick. I think I can run in and grab it real quick. It sounds like they're fighting. Alright, I gotta be really quiet for just a second. I gotta listen. I might be able to run in, grab it, and leave. He's got a shotgun, he's waiting for me in there. What is happening? Excuse me. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I have never seen that happen before. That scared the shit out of me. Um, so... I don't know exactly what just happened. Yeah, I, I bugged out the game somehow. I started, like, sliding sideways. It wasn't walking. I was just gliding, and I couldn't stop moving. Huh. Interesting. And weird. No, there's no mechanic like that in the game. I just got sl I just glitched out and started sliding everywhere. Huh. It was like I was on ice. That's new. I don't think it was ping. I think that was just bad luck. Is lag switching a thing in this game? I don't know. I don't think so. That was very weird. What attacked you? That's an armored. They're really easy to deal with. I just, I, I panicked and shot up thinking it was a player approaching me with a sword. Uh, but then I started sliding everywhere out there. I'm amazed into being an axle. That was super strange. Let's do the old classic. The Lonely Howl. Oh, I already have Lonely Howl. Oops. Oh well. Let's see, this one's got an axe, which is fun. And a crimson fist. <laughs> maybe the Eclipse shenanigans are part of the event. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let me just... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, I could have swore I also had a, uh, another part of this that goes with it. One second. Thank you, Orangemaru, by the way, for the incredible outfit. I'm looking for my hood. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't have a hood. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Party time. So, Lonely Howl. Let's see, we have Necromancer, Assailant, Vigor. Oh, what a weird build. Let's do this. So I want the signy... I love the art, by the way. Look at the art on this. Just look at that art on all of these traits. Is that not incredible art? I don't even know who the artist is, honestly, but they did such an insanely good job on this.
Axe just this once. And we're going to swap over to... We're going to swap this off. I'm going to put on a Reaper's Hand. We're going to take a Vitality Shot, a Stamina Shot, and I would love to have a Birth Year. Yeah, let's do it. Party time. Reaper's Hand. It's actually a heavy knife, but it looks like a little sickle, and I love that. Again, this music makes you feel like I could run away into the woods and live off hunter-gatherer nomadic lifestyle. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, though? Wow. We love it. Don't worry, I'll have an axe later. I've already got an axe to grind. I do have a gun that I stole off another player called the Crimson Fist, and I did kill him with an axe, so that's kind of funny. I came out of lurking for that. Bless up. <laughs> wow, thanks. Alright, let's do this. We are Lonely Howl. I am one with the bayou. I am become the bayou. Uh-oh. Lag. I can't switch my gear. I can't even look at the map. Hmm. Game's being real weird right now. One second. sneak by. No luck there, though. Alright, let's do this. Why tempt fate? True. Ooh. So this is theoretically a free trade. Come on, leech. Goodbye, little leech. Sense anybody who gets poisoned anywhere, and it'll chase you down like a heat-seeking missile. 
These leeches that come into their body bite you and poison you, and then they come after you with their giant meat hooks. They're very gross. They're very hard to kill. You can see the leeches growing out of the front of their head. Right there. They're nasty. rough buddy how are you feeling I'm gonna turn the game down just a bit all right let's do this the meathead is the boomer's hotter brother I will not elaborate <laughs> I don't know if we can describe that thing as hotter than anything really but okay his head. Ooh, fire zombie. That's a problem. No good way in this way. We'll have to go around. The boss is here. It sounds like he's pissed off. Sun's on my side. Okay, so I can be sure they're not going to come in this way.
are they shooting at? That's the question. They're trying to kill something. Oh, they hit the dog pen, I see. shot damn it was almost perfect but not quite ah well i tagged him but i didn't kill him and he did kill me so that's the end of that that was really clean on the headshot for him that was really clean yeah they saw both my traps i got out gamered tragic really oh well shotgun, so there was not much I was going to do there. Even if he missed my head, I was dead. Why are you whispering? That's the whole point. Read the title. I just joined. Did he almost 1v2? It was close, uh, but I did not get it, unfortunately. Oh, well. We go again. Ooh, a sniper build. That'll be fun. Hmm. Let's try this, shall we? Latte time. Nah, this is fine. Here we go. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with this sniper shot and see how we do. Both of them use slate slug. Sad. I mean, sometimes you just got to rely on really cheesy weapons, and I get it. I understand. I thought your head was floating for a second, but my brightness is just too low. <laughs> I mean, I didn't exactly kill that guy with a clean shot either. I used a knife, so it's not like I was playing exceptionally well there. Sim murder. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if I can switch this that I have. Hold on one second. Let me take the mask off. this. I'll just wear it on my chest. Ta-da! <laughs> nice. Oh no, it's over everything else, but that's alright. I'm fine with it. Fancy necklace. Oh yeah. Swagged out of his gourd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm swagged out of my gourd. Yeah. But how is it starting on your... 
your chest. It's magic. I'm wearing it on a very thin thread. Don't worry. Why are you asking questions? How dare you question the verisimilitude of this? I thought it was a nighttime map, and I was like, no shot. They put me on a night map the one time I have a sniper rifle. They hate me. Oh, yeah, I stole this off a dead guy, so now I broke the stupid scope when he died. He dropped it on the ground like an idiot when he died, and I, he broke the scope. She's not dead. She's just pretending. Now she's dead. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Shh. Quiet, doggies. There's so many noise things around me. God damn. Shh, shut up. Shut up. And crow. Ugh. Come on. Jesus, they set off the dogs that I didn't. Oh, and someone's ahead of me too. Oh. That's that negative one luck, huh? problem is 
is the people who set off that explosion up there probably heard the dogs go off behind them. So both sides are going to be looking toward me because they're going to be looking for each other. So I really just got to play my cards right here. And wait until I get some information. Now the question is, how long until the person who was behind me comes up toward the church? They're coming to the church, but I don't think they're going your way. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. They might go the long way around. And that's fine. They'll catch the team in church. Here they come. Someone was just running down that way. Hear that? Just a second. So those two were using the hillbilly skin, which is like the skin that sweats use. It's either that or the target skin every time. So we gotta be a little careful here. And I don't actually, oh, I used poison ammo, I just realized. So I don't actually have a very clean shot either because I can't shoot through the fence. That's annoying. Do I have regular ammo? Oh, I do, lucky.
wait a second, because that's a different team. Hello, Shinri Senpai, and hello, Koi Panions. Give me just a moment. I'm in a pretty heated situation here. I'm uh, solo against four other players, so... Hi, welcome in. This is Hunt Showdown. Okay, there's one. There's two. Now what are they going to do? They're jumping. They're walking. Let's switch our bullet real quick. Let's see if we can't land one of these shots here. Unfortunately, the only choice I really have is to go check, so I guess we're going to do that now. Let's go find out if you got him back up. Okay, they're fighting the boss. Here we go. One, one more check, one more check to see if he's, like, waiting for them to leave to go resurrect him. I don't see anybody over there. trying to katana me that's that's cute Ooh, and a mosin i do like mosin that skin for the sweats though because it's been in the game since the very very beginning oh they did kill his buddy oh no wait that's a different person that's weird that's a bad sign for me just a second no nah, i'm not using a controller Is, is it downstairs in the basement or is it in the actual church? Let's check the basement first, shall we? Very quiet now. Very quiet now. in the church. They're upstairs.
wait just a second, shall we? Now the question is, are they stupid enough to go up into that sniper tower? Probably not. Wait a second. Now I haven't heard anything from elsewhere on the map either, and that makes me nervous. Ah, there was an explosion all the way out there, so the other boss is probably around here or here. Is bow users are actually really dangerous if they know what they're doing. I could probably kill the guy with the rifle, but the bow is going to be a problem. I gotta go though. It's almost time. No way in from there. I'm gonna have to go. Be, I have to go loud. This sucks. Don't have a choice though. Oh, and it's locked. Great. Door's locked. Shit, it was downstairs. Oh, that's bad. Scan me. He scanned me again, he knows where I'm at. What? Oh, fuck. No way! Oh, that bad luck! Oh, that bad luck! Oh, sorry, I got loud. Oh, my God, no way. No way. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Hey, good morning. Wow. <sighs> I didn't have headphones on in my head. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> sorry, sorry. That's my fault. Uh... <laughs> I I don't know if I've ever had worse luck than that. That was uh that surprised even me, and I'm I'm used to my luck. That was wow. Wow. I... I... Wow. Genuinely wow. Was that three shots at point-blank range clean on their chest that missed? Wow. That's... Incredible, actually. Genuinely. Ah. 
Okay, so for those who are confused, uh, Kiwi, I know you said, how is that possible? So I was using the tree that's called fanning, where your character puts their hand on the hammer and fans it so that you can just fire really rapidly, but it lowers your accuracy. However, typically it is still vaguely reliable, um, but I have negative 500 luck apparently, so uh, unfortunately it turns out vaguely reliable for me is negative percent chance. Which, the very funny part of that is I have had people headshot me from, like, rifle range using that. Um, but hey, that's, that's my luck versus theirs, after all. Not only did I miss all of that attired blob, I missed all of that while slowing down. I didn't hammer it. I didn't sit there and click as fast as I could. I shot once, stopped, shot once, stopped. I was trying to let the, uh, the lowered accuracy die down in between shots. And it still didn't matter, which is genuinely some of the most impressively bad luck I've ever had. That's pretty wild. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go back and rewatch that because that's how insane that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to frame by frame that. Exactly. I agree, Tim. Wow. That was... Hmm. That was something else. Tone your voice down a little, Ruse. No. Okay, a little. A little. They're probably just as surprised as you. I. Yeah, I'm sure. That was, uh. Man. Whew. I'm still re I'm still reeling. I'm still reeling that wow. Hmm. Anyway, that's nuts. That was nuts. those of you who are using headphones. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That narrow alley shot was clean, though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ruse, can you tell me the lottery numbers for tomorrow so I know which numbers to avoid? Uh, yeah, it's going to be 557089002. So I guess um, my negative 10 luck is also your negative luck since I just removed your ability to hear for at least the next three days. You're welcome. I changed my headphones and got blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I cannot believe. I cannot. I'm. 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 My. My hands are on my temples. I am sitting here staring at the fucking keyboard. Just. I was so impossibly close to that person and still missed every shot. That's wild. That's impressive. That's impressive. Wow. Rose and I that was the most impressive like that was I'm, I'm I think I might enter the world championships that I basically painted a chalk outline of that person with bullets impressive oh I don't just need two shots blob I only needed one shot they were sitting still getting up from being necromancer rest and I missed three shots
welcome. I can make balloon animals impressive. deserve that that is my uh, that's just that's my just desserts that's my that's my recompense for the game robbing me blind thank you for those five gifted crimper chips i will use those to dry my filthy fucking salty tears at missing that shot those three shots thank you
be careful of those little demon dogs. It's not very far. I heard the crack of that bullet. It's not very far at all. I'm here and I know he's here. That's why the clue just went so wild. night so far. Yeah, I actually have, have, I've been having a rough one, but that's okay. It's bound to happen once in a while. I was having a really good night the other night. I was playing by myself, actually, and I was tearing it up. I'm sure I dropped a star by now. No, actually, I'm still going. Ah, did I drop down from five? No, I didn't make it back up to five. Never mind. But I didn't drop a star yet, so I'll take it. Thanks, Neuroro. Thank you. That one I don't feel bad about. That was on me. I, I failed. I played that poorly. All right, well, I burned through three Lonely Owls, so maybe we don't do Lonely Owl tonight. Maybe that's not my lucky skin. Let's try another Corvid. Ooh, Quartermaster, an Ambidextrous, and Assailant. Wow, what an interesting build. Um, so that means I can have a rifle. Okay, so let's do a rifle.
I'll show you how hunting works. <laughs> Yeehaw. So one thing you're gonna wanna keep careful of is you always wanna have trigger discipline. One reason I always take a deep breath right before I pull that trigger is because it helps steady your aim. The trick there is you can't hold your breath for too long. Eventually it'll come back to bite you. Oh, rain and you know what rain's good for? Getting real close. on this map. Ooh, but there's also water devils. We gotta be real careful now. Thanks, Fitz, for being a Rosada. Was that the rain? Or was that another player? Let's listen for footsteps. Even in this heavy rain, you should be able to hear something. Assassin, but we got a different quarry in mind. Someone may already be fighting Rajal. 
Well, well, well. Let's see if we can't help her out and send them to an early grave. seeing any clues for her. How strange. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can't pick up a clue at the river. I shot too far east. on the other. Talk about bad luck. Oh, they're having quite the battle out there. And I'm getting dangerously close to them. It might be that Rajah is right by them.
That's okay, though. We have patience on our side. It'll keep and keep and keep. Now then, we know that they're up here at Scupper Lake, but how close is Rajal to where they are? Let's go deal with our neighbors first, shall we? After all, they're ever so noisy. that the team on the outside spots me. Well, I'm going to get the team on the inside. That would be very bad for me. Sorry for the trouble, friend. I 
was holding very still, Rethi. Lying in wait. As one does. Now the question is, are they alone? Are they going to get back up on their own? Oh, bad time for the rain to die down. See if the friend will come save him. Someone just took damage. I can wait and wait. How long until you burn to death? How long until you can't come back to this world? neighbors to take care of. It looks like they're still inside. It's hard to see in all this rain. I'm sure that makes it hard for him too. Is how long are they going to wait here instead of just leaving? It 
doesn't seem like they want to run, they want to fight. second of dark side they were able to see me pretty easily so they must know where I'm near did I clear them all out nah you got two more to kill and then I'm good to go let's take a peek shall we very carefully now. Just a moment. It wasn't them. That means there's another, another team here. It's a good thing I didn't push or I would have got shot in the back. Because they're still in the building. There's a person running around out here and someone just killed Rajah. So there's at least four other players here. Maybe more. And it just stopped raining. Someone just got shot by the person by Rajaw. They have a very long range wire rifle. So is there seven hunters on the map still? Good night, Sindhu.
Pancho's dead over here. They'll see me when they get it. Delicious, delicious soup. It'll keep me warm when I hunt down these dirty, rotten thieves. He got the bounty. Now he knows where I'm at. I'm gonna have to move a little faster now. Oh, they're still back there, so they can shoot me from the window. I gotta be sides. Oh, there's one that way as well. Hmm. What is my solution? He's gonna try and get out with Rodjaw. Do I try to stop him? Oh, it's gonna be hard to push him. Alright, it's raining. Now's the time. Let's do it. Oh, wait. The rain stops. Damn. Well, we have to try. Still wants the other bounty, so he's still fighting. It's good. I need to get across this water. Sneaky. Where, oh where? Shh, not right now, Arturs. There he was, see him? is, does he still have some dark side? Does he know I'm behind him? We'll find out soon. Shh. 
he's just waiting in there. But what for? Maybe he's collecting bodies. In which case he'd know that I'm waiting for him. shot on me. He definitely has a very long range weapon. Oh, even if I die here, it was worth it for this hunt. This one's a lot of fun. Very patient. He knows I'm here. He's being super careful. doesn't have gator legs. Just my luck. south I might still catch him but if he tries to go west we lost him
Caesar and Salva, right? Jesus, buddy. Do or die time. All right, we take our hand off the mouse and we wait. We listen. There it is. Ah, he guessed where I was. For those who need context, every time you buy a Legendary Hunter, uh, they come with three traits for free, but the trade-off is that all of those traits are always randomized, and for some reason, I have gotten, out of the four Plague Doctors I've played tonight, three of them have had bow traits. Which isn't bad, bows are cool, and they're very fun, but 
They're also definitely not meta, since you can't shoot through walls with them. But that's alright. We'll make it work. Why don't we do a full medieval run just for fun? We'll take a bow. We'll do our, uh... <laughs> we'll do a uh, Bloodborne run. A bow. A cane sword. Some knuckle dusters in case we run into uh, an emulator. And you know what? That'll be more than enough. As a treat, I'll take these. Just in case we run into a situation we can't really handle. We'll keep it cheap. Simple run. For fun. give us the highest likeliness of evil cackling. Well, I'm trying to keep the evil cackling to a minimum, mostly because I find that it gets a little loud no matter what. I can't really control that when I'm truly laughing. Cackle ASMR. Let's go. An evil chuckle, perhaps. <laughs> two hours two hours of this are you bored yet do we want to shake it up do we want to is that enough do we want to call it even on uh, another run or two so that all the VOD gang doesn't have too much to sift through how are we feeling I did enjoy that last round it felt a little role play which was kind of weird but not bad I thought it was an interesting time not bored we gotta get up early tomorrow uh oh more more uh oh okay well 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 I don't mind this is comfy that's the goal I don't know that I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to create ASMR content because I don't think that I have the skill set to do that correctly. There are much better people than me for that, but I think that I'm trying to change, not change, balance my typically very chaotic energy into something cozy today. Mostly because I find that a lot of my streams are very, very loud. So once in a while doing something a little cozy I think is... Uh, it's a nice trade-off. Something to balance it out. Thank you, nothing, for the crim... Chips. Crim chips, I mean. Not loud as Dino Man, you good. Well, I like to think I'm as loud as Dino Man. <laughs> Just not for no reason. <laughs> I don't typically scream in the middle of nothing. Unless I miss, you know, three shots around someone and paint a beautiful angel's halo over their head. Sorry, Grammy. That's what you get for throwing dynamite at me last round. Wow. Crows. 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 And a hive. They really ate me today. That negative one luck coming in clutch, huh? Set those chickens off. Is someone here?
for it. Alright, this is a pretty wide open field, which is bad for a bow, but we're going to try our best anyway. Let's try and cross using as much cover as we can. Someone's already been here. Interesting. Someone's moving very quick. That's okay, though. We'll keep up. and in front of us with guns while we have a bow. But that's never stopped me before. There's players here. Missing number. The bow is significantly more quiet than the sniper rifle, right? It is very quiet comparatively. Still trackable. But quiet. Sounds like there's water devils out here too. It's gonna be a tough push. Stop them. Ooh. I think with this one, our best bet is just to get over there and take advantage of the chaos and fight as hard as we can. No time for, uh, no time for waiting around, really, because they have all the advantage. They can take any fight they want at long range with guns, and I have to wait for them to push me with a bow, and they may just never push me. So I think our move this time is to get very aggressive fast, stupid. Well, let's play smart, but let's still play fast. They're at 80%, so we know that they're getting close now. They're going to grab the bounty soon. If I want, I can actually bide my time just a little bit. What I'll do is I'll skirt really far left here, and I'll stay far enough away that they can't see me with their dark. <laughs> All right, never mind. 
I'll set off crows that were dead silent somehow. And now they'll know where I'm coming from. That barrel's gonna go off, isn't it? Let's get away from that, just in case. Just though, now we know how far that uh, the arrow has to go before it starts dropping. Now where did my other arrow go? Could have swore I shot it through here somewhere. Oh, more crows. That's bad. Ooh, and a fire zombie. That's bad. Talk about bad luck. zombie, a hive, and crows. Damn. 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 Uh, I stepped on a twig. And it set off a horse. The negative one luck always swinging. their death. Did you ever hope that maybe the other teams had bad hearing? I have been surprised before. Let's see what they're doing first before we do anything. Now the question is, They know I'm here and are afraid and want to push to where I am, but I don't have the balls yet. Or are they being held up by another team? It would be hard to push them with another team because I'd have to fight my way inside while being shot at from the outside. And they probably have traps. So much for being fast. The other teams aren't here yet. We need to wait for the teams to show up. Hey, O'Gail, welcome in. Give me just a second here. Eat well, Astral Omen. Thank you for the delicious soup. I will eat well while you eat well. They're not pushing. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not going to sit here for 30 minutes and wait for them, but I also don't want to run into what is certain death. I need to know if there's another team out there. If only they would take a shot. Steady now. Ah, there he ran. This is going to be a really, really hard chase. Knowing that they have guns and all that, I bow is going to make this really difficult. <sighs> all right, let me think. If I run directly east, I might be able to outrun them. Well, they already crossed the bridge, and I have to take for the water path. This is going to be damn near impossible, but we'll try our best. If I can launch a Hail Mary arrow and tap one of them, I can make them bleed long enough that they slow down and I can catch up. That's basically my only chance now. sound traps faster than they can make it across open ground and bridges, which is going to be really, really hard unless they're... Ugh, unless they're slowing down. <laughs> that was bad. Ah, chicken is great. Unless they are slowing down to loot things. My god, there are so many sound traps around here. here <laughs> with a bow their victory shots. Yeah, bad RNG. It is what it is. And they are out. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Talk about bad luck. Why 
Why was there no other teams at all? No, not a single team tried to slow them down or hold them up. Nothing. Just straight shot, free bounty, walks away. Wow. They even left a flare. How nice of them.
myself a little treat. Don't forget to turn your mic back on. Wow, I, I didn't. Now, the question is, do I want to open this can in such a way that you hear it? This time, I didn't make myself a stamina potion. I found one on a shelf and bought it. If I open this, though, it might be too loud. Here, let me hold it far away. I'm going to hold it very far away. Hold on. One second. Do it. Let us suffer. No. Near. No, you don't want... Okay, I'll hold it near-ish. I'm going to hold it all the way... I'm going to hold it all the way over here. Does this still sound close enough to you? All right, here we go. Ah. Tasty. A little treat for me. And now I'm going to drink it very quietly so you don't hear nasty little slurpy sounds. What's wrong, Arturus? Why do you give me your mournful cries? It's not time to eat yet. Why do you have another 30 minutes before I have to feed you? What? What? Why do you yell? Why do you cry? How about we take a little, let's take a little hunt break. I'll leave it on the hunt screen. Uh, let me get rid of the BRB, hold on. And then uh, we'll go on the hot screen and I'll tell you what, I'll give Arturus a little treat so he'll stop crying as much and you guys can listen to that. How's that sound? Come here, Arturus. Hold on, bud, I'm getting your little treat. One second. Come on. Come here. Look, you like it? You like this? That smells good? Why are you smelling? Stop smelling me. Look, smell this. Hold on, buddy. Wait a minute, 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 wait a wait, 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 smell good. That smell good. Do you like the smell? Great. No, come here. Yum. Here, let's get you a little closer. Come here. That smell nice. Yum, 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 yum. You like Churu? This is not sponsored by Churu. Is that tasty? You want a little more? Come here. I hear you squeaking down there, Polish. Do you want some too? Guys, I'm gonna move your the mic down to the ground, and we're gonna hang out with him down there. Come on, get down, Arturs. Mm. Hold on one second. That was Pollux. Yeah, Pollux is the one who does the little like bird squeaks. He doesn't know how to make a meow. I'm gonna move you further down to the ground. Shh, Arturs, not not right at the mic. Watch out. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yum. Pollux, do you want a little bit? One second. One second. You go, Pollux. Wait a minute, Arturus. So let Pollux have some. All right, hold on. I gotta turn down. Oh, there you go, bud. There you go. No, what? What are you stepping on that for? Get off that box. Get off the box. There you go. Arturus, you gotta share. Come here, Pollux. Good baby. All right, hold on. I gotta turn down on. It's too loud. Come here. Come here. There you go, bud. It's a snack, money. Wow, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let Pollux have a little bit. Pollux, here you go, bud. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so gentle. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Is that tasty, buddy? Sorry for cat licking sounds. I should have told you. Oops. Hey, watch out, cat licking sounds. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want more? 
it once more. We'll say it, Pollux. I, I, I heard your silent squeak. Say it. Do you want Pollux to do one more? Get off the mic. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. You can have a widow. Yum, 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 yum. Don't, don't bite the, don't, 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 don't bite the whole thing. All right, Bollocks is turn. Go on back up. Do you, do you want this? Do you want this? Say, say squeak, squeak, squeak for them. Do your little weird bird chirps. Can you guys hear these little dorks? Lem, 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 lem. Is that tasty? Good for you, Pollux. I'm sorry I have to fight Arcturus away from you to give you even a little bit. Arcturus, you gotta stop being so greedy. Stop being so greedy. Little dork. Alright, hold on. Wait a minute. Little, little greedy things. Stop it. Stop it. Do you want this? Hey, do you want this? Why are you squeaking? Do you want that? <laughs> Arcturus just jumped up and grabbed my hand with both of his little paws very gently, just holding my hand. <laughs> okay, you little squeaky mouse, come here. Come here, Bala. Oh, Arcturus here. Jeez. You're such a baby. Right, don't be a freak. Don't be a freak. Let Paulus have a little bit. There you go, you little bastard. All right, Arcturus. Okay, you're almost done. No more... No, bu, 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 bu. Okay, 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 don't bite it. Jeez. Stupid cats. You silly cats. There you go. A little bit more. All right, that's enough treats. That's enough treats. You're good. You're done. No more. No more. It's all done. Look, I don't have, I don't, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Stop. Stop. Look. That's it. I'm all done. It's all gone. You're out. You're out. I'm sorry. God, it's like a drug for these little freaks. <laughs> all right, I'm moving you back on the desk. We're done with that. Go on, move, move it, boys. Move, 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 move. Get out of my way. Get out of the way. I got to move the chair. Go on, move. Back. There you go, bud. Okay, that's all your cat content for now. Turn on back up. Ah, and we go again, I guess. Ah, I'm one trade point short. Oh well, we'll stick with foot so we're quiet. We're very in full stealth mode. Wow, thank you for the delicious magenta soup. Thanks for the cat content. You're welcome. More kitties, please. Kitty time is done. I gotta go find Methuselah and give him a little treat later. Arcturus' meows remind me so much of my own cats. He's a greedy little dude. He, he tries to, like, he doesn't, like, bully. Like, he doesn't bite or nip like Methuselah does. But he loves trying to, like, body block. Like, he'll just stand in the way of Pollux and kind of push him around with his back. And Pollux is just too sweet to fight back. Thank you, Shadow Cross Zero, for the delicious membership. I take it you guys like cat content. Got it. You have voted with your member chips in your soup. Cat content. Understood. Your cat sounds like a cat from a commercial. Which one, the chirpy one or the <coughs> one? Who's the older cat? Honestly, I think they're around the same same age. 
Because Pollux only ever makes sounds like... He, like, does these weird, like, trilling chirps, like... I'm like, dude, you gotta learn to meow. Thank you for all the soups. You're too kind. Meanwhile, fucking Arturus is out here, like, crying to the moon, like he's being attacked. Like, Aah! I'm like, bro, please, you have to stop. Wait, what? What is, what? What's going on out here? trash can over. Ooh, I missed what you said. Sorry. Thanks for the soup. Um, I missed the cat content, but I heard something cute just happened, so here's my payment. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hey, why is this place so goopy? What's going on out here? Is there something near me I should know about? What just happened? Ooh, Neroro. Cat, tre cat treats restock. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, someone's up here. What is happening? I feel like I'm walking through a nightmare more so than this game usually makes me feel like. Seriously, what's going on? Oh, you did not. No, you didn't. Bad, baby. Bad. That was weird. The, the dogs are just going off after nothing. Hold on. I gotta go get Pollux. You little bad boy. What are you doing? Give me that. Give me that. You're not allowed to do that. He dug it out of the trash. I buried it and he dug it out. Wow. What a bad cat. I can't believe that, Pollux. You're the sweet one. No, bad Pollux. Tisk tisk. No. Don't make me move it somewhere you can't get it. I will do it. Stop it. You're slowing me down, buddy. I'm gonna die. He's just a little guy, Your Honor. He did nothing wrong. But he did. He tried to get to the treats in the trash. Not okay, Pollux. Why were those dogs going off? Why was I surrounded and missed what happened? Like, it's gone suddenly, too, which is even weirder. Fuck. Oh, so much for being quiet, I guess. Is the infection taking hold of me? Maybe. I'm, oh, this is weird. I'm gonna turn the game down just a bit. I've never seen this. This must be some new event or something. I, I feel like the infection is taking a hold of my character. Like, maybe, maybe they're succumbing to the to the 
plague that turns people into like monsters and stuff. Is there an event happening? Well, yeah, but this isn't. I didn't think this was part of it. I've never seen this before. And I've been. I mean, I've been playing for the last few days. Weird. The boss is here. I hear him. to the boss. Spicy. for our chance. Let's see how we do, shall we? Listen for doorways. Thank you, Volavolt, for chatting quietly.
promised me we're free yet. That was the dangerous part. We needed to cross the water. And now that we've crossed it, I've got a better chance of making it through here. he had a shotgun. Why wouldn't he have a bomb action shotgun? Ah, uh, well, it was a good try. <sighs> well, 
the luck continues. That game did go a lot better. It's always the shotguns. For some reason, I keep running into that. I mean, I think it makes sense, though, because they're playing a duo, so one guy probably handles being super long range, and the other guy handles being uh, shotgun. Pump Ashton. Did I not? What did I say? Is that not a pump dash shotgun? So be it. I will sacrifice my luck for kitty content. Oh, it's the new pump rifle. That wasn't a shotgun. Oh. Damn, he had a good shot then. I thought I was 100% certain that was a shotgun. Good for him. Never mind then. That was good for him. Nightbolt. <sighs> Dare I go another round? Dare I go another round? Let's see, where are we at? Eh, three hours. I could do another one or two, maybe. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It's, it's not a bug, I promise. Just an asset, this time. What? You already got your snack. Don't you chirp at me, bollocks. Don't you yell at me. I see you are, Jarvis. No, no, no. No, you had your snack. Go over there. Good night, Momo. Man, I gotta win one tonight, right? Hmm. One more lonely owl, maybe. Scope Smith. Steady. Oh, they want me to snipe. Interesting. And Dauntless. Huh. I could try sniping for a bit. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's try sniping. Let's give it a shot. No, buddy. Not yet. Oh, I could do a Mosin Sniper. Ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'll use that. And then I'll use... Let's see. And then I'll use... It's a reliable pistol. Actually, I want to unlock the new silenced Bornheim, so I'm going to use the Bornheim. It's got a cat on it, a little black cat. That's the alley cat right there, baby. Now watch, I go full sniper rifle, and this ends up being a map that's uh, super, super foggy in nighttime. Honestly, though, the rain maps are definitely a vibe. So I'll tell you what, instead of trying to win this time, why don't we find somewhere near the center of the map and just fuck around and be assholes, huh? Why don't we just be little sniping bastards and see what we can get done for funsies?
we'll treat it like a little bit of ASMR time. How's that sound? Sounds like fun. Yeah. So, the interesting balance around sniper rifles in this game is that, especially in duos and trios, it can be hard to make snipers worth it. I mean, it's nice if you get that first shot, right? Like, if you take someone down. Um, but often, then you don't know where their friend is unless you've scouted both. And you have to deal with the fact that he could be circling around on you, but you also have to watch the body because he could go to try to revive. There's a lot of, like, uh, nuance there, and that's kind of interesting. It sounds like nighttime to me. There's... I think that's the sound of nighttime crickets. But it's not raining. Oh no, ooh, broad daylight, clean weather. Wow, maybe my luck is turning around. Maybe they said, if you want to just fuck around and have fun, we'll, we'll open it up for you. I really, really, really like this map, but there's a lot of shrubbery, so it can be hard to snipe, but I'm still going to do it. I think where I want to go is I want to try to get to Pelican Island Prison. It's the highest point on the map, and then I want to try to snipe one there. So let's try to make our way down there, instead of going for the actual uh, clue. Someone's already shooting. Damn. Sounded like it whizzed past me. That was weird. Nah, you'd be fine, Van Dam. Especially if you're playing with buddies. It alleviates a lot of the pressure. I think the trick with this game, especially uh, early on, is figuring out how to play it in a way where you're not constantly afraid and moving super slowly. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of a really dirty spot right there. There's a um, there's a clue up there, right by that hive. If I can find a good angle on it, I can just snipe someone while they're getting the clue. There it is. so far away that she's not even rendering. That's funny. There's one. They're not, what? They, huh? moving like they already know where the bounty is.
it's possible they already know because they have a clue in this area is down there. They just chose not to get it. But they still ran by it and cleared it out. Huh. That was so weird. Well, that's what I love about this game. It always throws me for a loop. It always surprises me. I'm never not surprised by this game. You think you gotta figure it out and there's always something like, whoa. No, I don't think your scopes give off glints in this game. Probably happened, I guess, was they got a they got the uh, clue here and it cleared out this whole fourth of the map. But why they ran over the top of the clue is just weird to me. They just happened to take the path right on top of the clue, which I mean, maybe that's just where they happen to be. Bug. If I was on the, this side of the map up here, I could go up to King Snake and snipe down here, and that would be funny. But now I'm in the lowlands. Still, it would be kind of funny to circle all the way around and go up there, but I might run into a team on the way. Or I could go to prison and wait till they get their bounty and they might run south to that and just try to tap them. That could be funnier. Let's just do that. I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to fuck around. This map is pretty big. Actually, they're getting pretty close to updating the entire engine. Apparently, they're going to redo the engine. And they're dropping a fourth map, and they're dropping, I think, it's, they're hinting at dropping a fifth map. So that'll be exciting. That'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what the map is there. The clues seem to suggest it might be heading north, like there's a train heading north with an infection up on board. So that implies that the map might be in the mountains somewhere or in the northern states. And I'm excited to see what that's going to end up being. I know, Arturis, you're so sad. You're so starved. Hey, friend. <coughs> so shit out of me, bud. snipe at them once they get there. They're going to get the bounty over there at Moses Poultry. And then I'm going to try and land ridiculous shots on them as they try to make their way south. Sound funny? He's never eat, eaten anything in his whole life. Please understand exactly. Whoa. Someone just blew up a barrel over there. That's so funny that it's so far away it doesn't even load. That's a whole ass building just not loading. Soothing. Yeah, I think this game can be really soothing. I think a lot of people misinterpret this game as a horror game, and it has horror themes, but it's not really that, that scary. 
The only real horror in this game is when somebody like me jumps around a corner with a fucking sword and wipes your team because he's a little freak who's willing to run at you shooting while you're shooting at him and stab you to death. That's the horror in this game. Nobody's picked up the bounty. I guess this guy's still got a couple percents on it. Let's see how it does. Okay, they both got the bounty. I'm gonna take a little sip while we wait so that I have a, a, a not parched throat sitting here in our sniper spot. This is one of your most played games, right? Um, it's probably my most played shooter, but I, I wouldn't say it's in my top five most played games now. Maybe, maybe it's the fifth most. So they're not running yet. Also, they're a little further. Oh, they're up there, I see. They're still in the main building. so spicy if I saw one of them peeking their little heads through these cracks just pow pow imagine the the kill feed tells you how far away your killer was imagine it just said like I don't know 500 meters and be like what the fuck do you mean I was killed from 500 meters is he hacking yeah it's actually a skin the sniper rifle that I have this is a uh, Mosin sniper but the like ropes and cloth wrapped around it is a skin I don't remember what the button is to look at skins let me check so these uh. are B. Mm. Uh. Could have swore there was a button to look at your skin. Oh, there you go. Pretty cool. Is it me or is there an echo suddenly? I just got too close to the mic, probably, so you probably heard the game. Oh, they're still in there. There must be a team pressuring them, because they're not moving. And there's no way they see me from this distance, even with their dark sight. Oh, there's a player. Hold on. Let's see if we can land the shot. So I'm going to aim up a bit. He's like, what the fuck is shooting at me? What are you talking about? Look at him. Ah. Ooh, he set off a fire. I thought there'd be more bullet drop than that, but nah. again see him oh he's looking for where he's being shot from <laughs> that's so funny he's like where the hell was he that bullet has to sound so far away he's gotta be like what who's being shot at uh oh uh oh watch out buddy watch out buddy who's shooting at you where I'll get him I'll, I'll take him out for you don't worry bud I got you I lied I don't got you <laughs> oh, that poor man. Use necromancer, get up, I dare you. Oh, there's his friend. Oh, get him, get him, get him up. Get him up, buddy. Get your buddy. Get your buddy up. Alright, so I'm gonna reload real quick while I wait for him to do that. See if his buddy tries to res him. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Where are you being shot at from, bud? I would help you, but I don't actually see who's taking pot shots. I think he's on the roof. Sorry, buddy. I don't, I don't see you shooting at you. I would help you, but I can't. So, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, he's really trying over here. Okay, okay. Resin, 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 resin.
How far away is that? I gotta check. Okay, so let's see. I'm shooting them while they're over here, basically. <laughs> How likely is it, do you think, that they report me? Oh, that's funny. Let's see if they try to uh, loot these bodies. That would be the stupidest shit in the world if they tried to loot these bodies knowing they got sniped. They'd be like, what? We could probably... There's, there's no way they think they get away with looting them, right? I am far enough away, though. They can't see me in dark side, so they might think I'm running. We'll see. Rakai, it's very unlikely to be... Uh, comes to get me because I'm just some guy. I'm not a bounty. They might, maybe, if someone really has a vendetta, come looking for me because they hear bullets, but it's very unlikely. I'm, I'm in a pretty safe position at the moment. How long is it going to take them to try and get out of there and make a run for it? Or to try and loot? Oh, please try and loot them. That would be the funniest shit. Yeah, that's probably the longest shot I've ever made in this game. It's wild that these bullets... This is uh, such a powerful rifle because it's a Mosin. It's probably one of the strongest rifles in the game as far as like bullet uh, travel time. That it has no bullet drop at all. Like with a lot of guns, you'd have to aim a little higher, you know, to account for the bullet falling some, but not for this one. Which surprised me. That's why I shot so far over his head the first time. It's essentially hit scan, yeah. I mean, there's travel time, right? Like, it takes, a, like, probably a, a 0 0.2 second difference from, like, when you fire to when the bullet lands. But it's not, uh, there's no actual drop. It's just time. All right, so where are they going? They're going to run for it fully. I have to wait till they pass that tree, though, or I can't see them. Trying to gauge how long the bullet travel time is. That's how long. Last try. Damn, I'm out. All right, well, it was worth it. Ooh, two more bullets. <laughs> We got five minutes to get out of here before the mission ends. We gotta go. Well, that was really funny. Ooh, a tree. I might not have gotten a kill, but I did get a hilarious shot. Ooh, that's beautiful. Monsters can't see me anymore. Like, uh, 
crows and stuff can, animals, but not uh, zombies. Zombies will just ignore me. They can hear me, but they can't see me at all. They're blind to my, my presence. Lucky tree. Shadow. Ooh, water devils. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Do, do we want to do another sniping round, or do we want to actually play the game? I'm having fun just ASMRing and tapping people. I think that's funny. It's kind of, in a way, it plays like a, a chill hunting game when you're doing just sniping rounds. You know, I wonder if I could use this mic to play something like Ultimate Hunter or whatever. There's like this, uh, there's a game called Call of the Wild that's like a really pretty slow-paced hunting simulator with like a lot of tracking and uh, stuff like that. I wonder if that would be interesting. Maybe I could try something like that at some point. Oh, I forgot they added actual mines underneath this bit pl place now. That didn't used to be there. Oh, I hear you, Arturus. Settle down. I haven't really played much Call of the Wild at all, but I feel like that would be good Call of content, right? Oh, a painter. You guys want to go see what he's working on? Oh, a zombie pretending to be dead when he's not. Yeah, I know you're fucking around, buddy. And now I'm gonna burn you for pretending. Ooh, toasty. What you working on, Bob Moss? Wait, that's beautiful, bud. Someone cut down some of the trees, though. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cute. I like that. Hold still, goddamn. Let's see if we land that. Ooh, I'm a genius. Oh, that's right, they can't see me. I was like, why didn't he attack me? I forgot they can't actually see me. That's fucking funny. Someone's coming. actually really cute still. That's adorable. I love that. Okay. I told myself I would never be this person, but I think I'm going to equip a long ammo pistol and a Mosin sniper, which is the grossest thing I could do, but it's going to give me a bunch of extra ammo so I can find a place to snipe from and chill. You know that team reported me. You know that team reported me. <laughs> oh, I don't have it unlocked. That's right, because I never used that gun. Oh, so what is it? The Caldwell, I think. Yeah, I think it's the Caldwell conversion, so I'll have to wield that for a while. Arturus, please. You're such a baby. No, it's not Avity. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You sound ridiculous, bud. Cry, 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 cry. 
all right, I'm gonna go feed the cats. I'll be right back. I'm tired of uh, I, I, I'm tired of him meowing. I, I, it's not that it like annoys me. It's actually kind of cute, but I also don't want him to be like hungry, hungry, and I don't want his food schedule to get turned off like too far off schedule. Uh, so I'll be right back. Also, uh, this is the most toxic I've ever seen you, and I wholly support your evil decisions. Thank you, Pogger and Real. I'll be right back. I see you, Vod Gang. Okay, I've got a few more in me. Man, I've had such <sighs> incredibly bad luck today. I feel like today, of all days, even though it's supposed to be a really chill stream, somehow I have become the boy failure. How has my luck been so incredibly shit this entire day? <sighs> my life is torment. I landed some good snipes. Ah, uh, the Eclipse debuff. That's probably what it is. <sighs> it's that poll from the con. They man, if they really did manifest this, they gave me the old bitchless boy failure. And you're right, I am bitchless uh, by choice. <laughs> But I'm not a boy failure. What happened to me? Thank you, Blue. You know what, Blue River Bane? Just, just this once, I will accept that conciliatory soup, and I will, I will use it to warm my cold, sad boy failure hands. <sighs> anyway, thank you. Uh, let's go snipe some people, I guess. Man, what insanely bad luck. unlock the ammo pouch uh, item so I can't even oh yes I have okay let's get rid of the get rid of that and equip the ammo crate so we can have a little more ammo to shoot with and then get in here and get stinky with it I'm telling you it's the eclipse messing up your chakras or whatever yeah is that what it is Let's look 
for something that's going to make my uh, hands a little steadier if I can. Something like... Oh, I already have that. Never mind. Okay, so let's get... just likes a taste of soap, Flapjack. This is how you know it's getting late because I can't find matches and duos at all. Bummer. I could go trios. That could be really funny if I start sniping trio teams. What, do you want to gamble and do trios? You guys want to fuck around? Find out. Just be a menace. Let's be a menace. Let's see how we do. sound when I drank that, but I think it hurt my gulp. Yucky. You should probably play with at least one other person. Absolutely not. They'd only drag me down. boys. Uh, well, I think Goldie's a pretty good shot, so maybe Goldie. He's not quite up to snuff compared to me in this game, but like he'd probably get there. Uh, and I think Gerard could be okay if he practiced a lot, but him and Octavio are both completely fresh to this game and don't play a ton of shooters, so hard to say. You heard a car run honk? No, 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 no. That was a very large goose out here in the wagon part. Don't worry about it. I did open my window, though. So, uh-oh. Wait, did I lock the kid? Gotta make sure I locked our turrets and bullets out. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a nighttime map. Oh. And it's the wrong map. And I'm super far from Fort Karmic. Damn. Damn. seen Goldie with a serious FPS game stream. I think Goldie plays a lot more arcade-style shooters, so you're thinking things like, uh, you're gonna want to think of things like, I don't know, Overwatch-style shooters, or like, um, you know, super hyper-movement shooters, things like that. 
like a lot of indie roguelike cheaters, for example, who fall in that category. TF2 definitely falls in the arcadey shooter category to me. It would be funny to get to the spider and show you guys that boss. I don't think I fought any bosses this stream. Right? I should find a boss this stream. But then again, I've got a sniper rifle on them. Pretty bad setup for fighting bosses, so maybe not yet. Damn, they really started me on the far side of the map. Damn, and it's dark. Shit. Yeah, you'd probably like this one. Okay, Joker Latrix. This is a super unique shooter. It's one of the very, very shoot few shooters I've ever played that has an incredibly, um, not slow paced. I don't think it's slow paced. It's measured. Like, you have to call your shots really well because the time between firing on most guns is very long. So if you don't land your shot, often they'll find cover or they'll tap you in the head, etc., etc. Um, so it's not that it's slow. It's just measured. And I like that a lot over fast-paced shooters. <laughs> Flapjack says, Haha, the moon looks beautiful tonight. Bite slips. That is a big-ass moon. God damn. It's actually really pretty. Honestly, you were joking, but it is beautiful. That's a big old moon. This game has a very Bloodborne vibe of, like, Eldritch Horror staring down at you, though. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the moon was, like, a big eye at some point. There was an event where the moon was bright, bright, neon green, and caused the whole map to be, like, colored in green. It was called the Serpent Moon. It's a cool event. Damn. Really, really bad lines of sight today, too. Like, I was like, oh, maybe I can wait here and shoot at that clue, but even the clue is, like, really far away, so, or on the other side of that building. So I'd be unlikely to get a shot on anybody. They're really punishing me today. Oh well. Why did that horse go off? That was weird. What if the moon just blinked one of these days? Huh? I guess, I don't know, wink back. shoot at Ironworks from here, but I don't think I have a very clean shot, do I? Mm, not really. Also, it's so dark. You can barely see the place out there. That's a building. That's a roof. Yeah. Not a very clear shot. Is this trios? Yeah, this is trios. You ever hunted the devil under the pale moonlight? More than you'll ever know. sound yet. No gunshots. Do you guys remember if we've heard any gunshots yet in the distance?
But a sniper is not a good weapon to fight the spider with. It's not a good weapon to fight players in a building with either. Ooh. Man, you really got fucked up by that beehive, huh? That's rough, buddy. there was anybody going for the spider, they probably would have already gotten it, so I feel like I can safely make my way that direction. Well, safely with a big asterisk on it. Ah, there's the gunshots, of course, as soon as I get down. Still, they sound far enough away, it might be the other boss. I think they're at Arden Parish, or possibly Golden Acres. very distantly out in my east, northeast. So around Arden Parish, yeah. smell me anymore. I'm gonna get in there and start the spider since there's nobody here. Here and there clicking around here, little mandibles clicking on each other. If you have arachnophobia, it's time to look away. This is not a real spider. It is a spider comprised of about 12 human bodies, but it moves like a real spider and it clicks like a real spider, so... Can't see me. <laughs> he heard me, he couldn't see me, that's funny. I can't believe how quiet this mass been. I mean, obviously they're fighting now, but no other players on the spider. It's weird. It's eerie. something like an axe or a hammer. A shovel might have to do. We might have to be the shovel knight. Let's go around just a little bit more. Fighting at maybe Lawson actually. 
Interesting. Ooh. Is there anyone on the roof? No. <laughs> there is one on the roof. Hold on. We might get a cheeky little snipe here. If you hold still for a second, or go somewhere to heal. my shot. He's gonna, he's gonna hide if I take a shot and I miss. So I really gotta make it count. He's ducking now. I'd probably hit him in the back and up ahead. Hold still for just a moment. No, 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 no. Sit still, sit still. Just for a second, buddy. Find somewhere you think you're safe and sit still. Stops to heal, that's when I'll take my shot. He's really fighting for his life out here. It looks like he might be a solo, which is a bit of a bummer to kill him, but when else am I gonna get a chance to shoot from this far away, so. through another flare. Damn. Well, the spider's still not being uh, pushed by anybody, so that's good. I'm calling these spiders Nazgul for now on. Uh... Ooh, another gunshot from Maybe he is up there. Oh, yep, there went a flash, so he's right around here. Damn tree. Steady now. Maybe I can even help him out a little bit. Let's see. What if you 
you shoot through the tree. I could shoot through these leaves, but I don't have a clean, I can't, like, make out a head. And shooting a body's not going to be enough. They'll just duck down. I gotta get one smooth headshot, or it doesn't count. It's gotta be clean. Oil. Hmm. Still nobody on spider. Wow. All of the fighting on the whole map is happening over there. Literally the entire, like, map is on that spot. Oh, to be up here shooting down at them. Oh, the flare went out in there. It is exposed, isn't it, Jokalatrix? It's scary, but it's funny. Mostly because not many people would look up here because they wouldn't expect that someone would be stupid enough to stand up in the open with no cover. It is a pretty dumb spot, but that's exactly what makes, uh the psychology of it so powerful because why would anybody be up there sleep well Sean hmm. well I could just take the spider and leave I guess that'd be kind of boring though True, Muse, I could just take the bounty and run around like an idiot, but that's more, that's less uh, high risk and more just trying to get killed. <laughs> Which, I mean, it would be fun, but I'd be a huge target. And as a solo, that would be a pretty, ro oh, there's one, so they're on the wall. Oh, why is he on the wall? Why are they still fighting over there? Is that where the other boss is? There he went. He ran around. The, he's running all the way around the perimeter of the wall. So he's going to be right there in a second. Yep, there he went. Three says, do you play this game sometimes in your free time? Uh, not a ton, but I picked it back up recently because I like the event reward and I'm trying to get to the point where I get the skin for the uh, poison antidote. So, yes. I don't really snipe very often in this game, even though I do like sniper rifles because I feel like there's not many... There's very, very, very few moments when a sniper rifle is going to be useful compared to just aiming down sights. You can still see really, really far with just iron sights, and it's incredibly accurate, so there's almost never a reason to, like, do this. It just kills your peripheral vision, unless you're fucking around and goofing off like I am, so. This is specifically for the joy of letting people be like, oh, when I kill them from 500 meters. Sleep well, Hagwidge. All right. I think I'm going to have to stop. Oh, wait. Damn, I thought that was a headshot for sure. Two of you out there, interesting. Maybe three. 
fuck down, shall we? So there's that one. Where's the money? Just gotta be sure no one's pushing me while I'm doing this. Okay, so he thinks I didn't see him. That's good. That's what we want. He thinks he got away. He's right down there. He still thinks I don't see him. I killed one, but there's another one. Maybe two. I gotta listen really carefully here. One second. Of course he had fucking, <laughs> he had the ability to heal him when he gets up. Damn, damn. God, everybody's running that. And the shotgun. Oh, oh well, it was a good try. Bad luck. Huh, <sighs> what a perfect, perfectly unlucky combo, huh? Damn. Okay, so what happened there? For those of you who are confused. <laughs> Here's what happened. He got up because his buddy had Necromancer, which can let him revive from a huge range. And the guy who got revived happened to have the ability that lets him heal with 100 HP instead of 1 HP, so he didn't die when I tapped him. And he happened to have a shotgun on him. <laughs> so, uh, that was a lot of bad luck all happening all at the same time. Uh, that was really, really bad luck. But what are you gonna do? Best to melee next time. E See, you say that, uh, and that is the right answer, air quotes. But let's assume I meleeed him right when he got up. What if his buddy was right by the window, which he was, and shot me as I meleeed him? It was a lose-lose situation. I needed something to burn him with, and unfortunately, of course, this is the round where I switched to a ammo box instead of a burn. So, lucky me. you plan on doing these 3D ASMR-esque streams with other games? It depends if I can find another game to do it with. I might try with something like Call of the Wild. I could try with... What do you guys think about something like uh, Dwarf Fortress? How would you feel about that? It's not 100 HP anymore. It's as much health as you can have. A chest hit with that gun would have killed 100 HP. Wait, they do it as much health as you can have? That's ridiculous. Especially since in this event, there's an ability that lets you not lose any health when you get up. There's an ability that makes it so you don't burn any HP when you go down. That's ridiculous. Damn. That's really not a cool combo. Fuck. Yeah, it's possible he's still at 125. True, 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 true. In fact, it's pretty likely, if he hadn't gone down yet. Still, bad luck on my part. Of course. 
it makes sense, right? In duos to run Necromancer on one person and uh, I don't know what it's called, Conduit or Durable, something like that. Uh, I think it's Durable uh, on the other guy. It's been too long since I've run any sort of team game, so it's hard for me to remember what the skill is called that lets you get back up with a lot of HP. Uh, let's find out. check traits honestly I know you can check them here but let's just grab a new guy and find out let's grab another lonely owl huh? oh no 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 why'd it keep me up stop stop uh -uh. bad 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 what? <laughs> oh well this is really bad did I click ready what oh well <sighs> here goes my level 50 anyway thanks for that Delicious soup. This is going to be really sad if I lose that level 50. Man, that's my only high max level character. <sighs> Let's try to just distract immediately. Let's just try to leave the map. Fuck that. What if I got equipped? Good equipment. Uh, I couldn't cancel in time, because apparently I, I guess I hit ready without realizing it. I don't know how you do that, but... Okay. Oh, no, 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 I've got items. Uh, oh, I can... Pff, well, now we're lucky. Look what's right behind me. Oh, yeah, Ruboki. Every time you die, you lose your character permanently. What is this effect? I don't understand this weird, like, burning effect. It's very cool, though. I like it. Now watch with my luck. Another team was right by me and decided they wanted to extract two. <laughs> Safe. That was my one lucky game. That's where I spent all of my luck. Whew, safe. That's a win for me. <laughs> Did I get anything out of that? No. Did I get away? Yes. And then I DC from the game, and it's like, oh, your character died because you DC'd. Sorry. See you later, Lady Winter. Good luck. Do we count that as a win? I count that as a win, yes. I've had a couple good games tonight, too, I think, that I can remember, but I haven't won any games, have I? Or maybe I won one. Quartermaster, bullet rubber, let... Wow. Cool. Best game of the night. True. True. Soup time. <gasps> Soup time. Do I know you? <laughs> Thanks for being a Rosator. The soup time. Mm, that's good soup right there. It's a sign you gotta go eat soup now. I'm not eating any soup. No soup. Saw a shotgun, but I guess I never unlocked it on this run. Bummer. What if I dual wield hand crossbows? <laughs> Ooh, I could do a longbow offhand. That could be funny. Let's do a longbow offhand and full poison. That'd be funny. Whoa, I got 
a new beetle, the choker beetle. Choke beetles are bred to find and track prey, giving hunters a view from above. They also have evolved to explode into a cloud of suffocating gas, which they themselves are immune to. That's good, because this... Oh, fire beetle! Fire beetles are bred to find and track prey, giving hunters a view. Upon a death or command, they will burst into flame and burn everything they touch. Wow, cool. They're not even that much more expensive than stalker beetles. Can I get a poison beetle, please? Good night, Ardenae. Anyway, what I was trying to tell you was... Um, there's a trait that lets you get back up. And when you get up... Oh, resilience, that's what it is. Your hunter is revived with up to, apparently, full health now. But there's also a trait that lets you get up during this event. Or lets you um, not burn any health when you go down during this event. So that means with this, combined with that, you could get up with 150 HP. Yeah, your hunter won't lose health when they go down. Holy shit. That's nuts. Wow. Starker beetle poisons and blue. Ooh, it poisons too. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's fun. So why would you ever take the fire beetle other than to set off barrels, I guess? Interesting. I feel like poison plus bleed is a better combo. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. If you've got Pyromania. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose if it does enough damage on the burst to take a small HP bar, it could be worth it, theoretically. Hmm. I wonder how much damage it does. Funny explosion time. Oh, good night, Nixie. burning bodies, or if you char enough health or uh, a one-hit KO to the chest for a while, even if the bar doesn't burn. I think it was 30. Oh, only 30 damage. That's a bummer. Oh, well. <laughs> Two upgrade points for my roster of heroes. That's a lot. <laughs> wow, I sure got a lot out of that. Negative one luck. Good night, Choco Rain. Sleep well. Is this gotcha? Um, not really, no. God, you need so many points to get through this event. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. I really just want to unlock this key and this. Those are the only things I really care about in the event. Can you use Fire Beetle Explosion to burn the bodies? Yeah, so you could burn bodies with Fire Beetle, or you could set off barrels with Fire Beetle, which could be interesting. Um, I did I did see that you could pet the Beetle Muse. That was really cute. I love that. I love that a lot. That's adorable. Uh, what challenges do I have today? I don't even know. I guess I could do some challenges, maybe. Ugh, kill hell ounce with poison damage. Okay, banish targets or activate well springs. Okay. Well, I've only banished one target today. I don't even think I did that today. I think I did that yesterday when I was playing on my own. Deal damage to enemy hunters using crossbow or hand, or hand crossbow. Deal damage to hunters use any variant of drilling. I've never actually used the drilling. I could try the drilling. Hmm. I want to do double hand crossbow. Oh, you can't. That's a bummer. Wow, this is really just not the build for that. Never mind. This just isn't it. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Oh, why do I keep getting this combo? Okay, uh... <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> lever. 
shall we? <laughs> ah. Okay, for sure this time, for sure this time, for sure, for sure. Here we go. This time, for sure, for sure this time my negative one luck won't kick in, don't worry. Cool, now we can do crossbow. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This is the last round of the night. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try to deal damage to enemy hunters using any variant of drilling and deal damage to hunters using crossbows and hand crossbows and killing hellhounds with poison damage. Oh, I need poison damage. Hold on. Remind me to use this on a hellhound. Do not let me forget to use these on hellhounds. I'm going to hit them with this poison bomb, I think. Yeah, they changed Hedman's design. I think he was too dark on night maps since he was jet black, so they had to add some color to him. Hand crossbow can use... I haven't used it enough yet, Berserker. I haven't leveled it up enough to get uh, poison on it, I don't believe. I actually really don't like the crossbows in this game. I prefer the uh, hunting bow. said hi hi gray <laughs> oh no i'm losing my ability to be quiet all right this has got to be the last round no matter what gamers this is it this is the final one bow's amazing if you're good with it but i'm not i'm okay with it um i'm, I'm really used to one shot weapons and i'm pretty good at lacing it through uh areas where people think they're undercover but i mean the reality is bow is good but it's probably not going to be beat long ammo if the long ammo player knows what the fuck they're doing. Just because they can keep you at a distance where you can't really fight back. Choke kills emulators, but poison's good against almost every uh, enemy type. Poison beats emulators, dogs. Uh, I think it's actually good against meatheads, even. Hello, Seneca. Welcome in. Can you pet the meal again? I don't think I actually brought the meal this time. Did I? Nope, I forgot. I meant to grab a fire beetle, but I forgot. Sorry, little horsey. Alright, let's actually play the game this time. So, if I remember correctly, this is a dual shot. Uh, okay, so yeah, the bottom barrel is a shotgun, and the top two barrels are medium ammo um, rifles, essentially. Which is kind of cool, actually. It's a cool gun. Turn on duos or trios, I can't remember anymore. Oh, I remember the hellhounds on it. No problem. So it's probably a lot. 
Lawson Station. Cool. or trios, because I do not, and that's a bummer. Is that your challenge? Yes, my challenge is to poison hellhounds to damage players with a crossbow or hand crossbow, and to damage players with the drilling gun. Oh, wait. Curve too far east. Need to go north. The supplies. Oh, great. I love supplies. This. start the boss or do we want to just move on? Tough call. I know there's players really close at Salters or Golden. Okay, so they killed Scrap Beak at four. Which means they're going to be coming from here down to there now. They might cross by here on the way. not necessarily to kill the butcher. My goal is to kill players for my challenge. So I think I'm going to make my way down this way. Here they come.
Hmm. Okay, they went in and closed the door. Jumpy, actually. Uh oh. They're just waiting. They're not moving at all. That's a bummer. I'm out in the open, though. Mm, let's see how we do. Okay, one's crouch walking. Here we go. So there's no way for them to approach from that side, so they have to be over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just a second. safe. I get it. I don't blame them. <sighs> Deep breaths, everybody. Let's do this. So the other problem is they have 10 seconds of seeing through walls, essentially, where they know where I am at all times. They just used it. So now they know where I'm at. Not the fuck? Okay. Hey, you remember earlier when I, uh, missed my shot, uh, while fucking fanning? That guy just got a jumping shot on me while dual wielding. Impressive. You wanna talk bad luck? Insane luck. That man jumped, dual wheeled shot me in the fucking chest. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, it was positioning. That was a rough push, no matter what. That was like a movie, yeah. Yeah, it was unfortunate. He got that game shot. <laughs> he got something. Let me show you something real quick. I, that, that's the last round, so no worries. But uh, I want to show you just real quick. Let's say, uh, okay, I'll say we're playing this guy. And I switch over to dual pistols. We'll use the same pistols he was using. Shooting range. Here we go. I'm going to show you something real quick. He had the better gaming chair. <laughs> maybe. Should have backed up a bit, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I've never actually used the drilling. I don't know how good it is at range. I also didn't know it fired both shots at the same time. That was kind of weird. I didn't know it would fire uh, both the barrels at the same time. Good night, Kiko. Man, what a bad luck night for Hunt. That was on me, though. That was a stupid play at the end. I shouldn't have been as aggressive as I was, or I should have gotten more aggressive and just ran in. Either way, I was kind of fucked there. It was either play really aggressive or play further back, and I didn't either, so my fault. All right, so check this out. Let me show you something. So this is your aim targeting reticule. I was, let's say, to be fair, let's assume I was about as far away as that, right? Maybe that. He went and shot me. Do you know how unlikely that is? Oh, sorry. He had a worse accuracy version. Better gaming chair for sure. Meanwhile, I was this distance from someone earlier. Fanned a hammer with a single pistol, like so, and missed three shots in a row around them, aiming at their chest. Incredible. No, it wasn't hacks. I don't think there's any hacks in the game that make you aim better. Like, there there are hacks that can make you, like, 
essentially track heads perfectly, but if he was hacking, I would have been dead. He would have had shot me immediately. That was just bad luck on my part and good luck on his part. That's nuts that he was able to go and hit me, though. <laughs> What about X-ray? Oh. I just don't see people. I don't. I don't imagine people using aimbot while dual wielding. It's possible, but it seems pretty unlikely. I mean, I don't think there's like a spray pattern it can mimic, but I'm not sure how aimbot works because I, I don't know. I'm just not super familiar with it, so it's possible they did, but I don't know. I don't think so. He would have hit me in the head. It would have been right in the head. There's no way he would have shot me in the chest. X-ray? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, if they had x-ray, they would have been shooting me through the wall with a perfect headshot. He knew where I was and shot at me because he heard me crouch walking, but he never shot me through the head in the wall. I don't think they were cheating. I think it was just luck. It is what it is. Yeah, most of the cheaters are probably in the six-star lobbies, not back here. Ooh, the old Nitro Express. Hey, look how much damage this gun does. Oh, never mind. It, it kicked up so hard I couldn't see the damage. So that's an elephant hunting rifle. It's made to kill elephants specifically. Uh, it can shoot through, like, full solid trees in this game. I think it's the only gun in the game that can shoot through a tree. I think that's kind of funny. Oh, there are a ton of cheaters in this game, Iwashi, but two things. One, if they're cheating, you'll know because you'll be dead basically as soon as you get in the lobby. Two, most of the cheaters are going to be at the highest tier lobbies, like, far away from the mid-tiers. Yeah, the kick from that gun is absolutely stupid. But it is a shotgun that can kill a guy like, I don't fucking know, probably over to that bush range if you're lucky, and pretty reliably about... I'd say pretty reliably about here. Like, to that shore, which is pretty nuts for a shotgun. I mean, come on. But it only has two shots, super limited on ammo, costs like fucking a thousand or something uh, hunt dollars. So like, you know, ten hunters worth or two Mosins to buy, so it seems pretty unlikely uh, that you're going to get hit by it. Imagine that recoil IRL. Pro probably whole shoulder turns blue. Probably. It's a very expensive gun, and you know, it also uses special ammo, so you can't even reload it from regular ammo crates. You have to find special ammo crates. It used to be 1050, I think. Not sure if it changed. I'm pretty sure it's still 1050, yeah. Yeah, and the sight sucks. Can you flick down the aperture on it? I don't know. Let's find out. I really gotta practice with some of these guns here, but I find that practicing in the shooting range just doesn't do much for me. It's really hard to mimic like a player's uh, wiggling around in the shooting range. Nope, you cannot put down the aperture. Bummer. Okay, so it does 150. Oh, 144 didn't kill. Wow. Must have been too much spread on that one. How much does damage does it do at point blank range? 150. Cool. Can it do collateral? Yes, but not enough to kill. Cool. Just curious. Yeah, I just don't like Necromancer Berserker. I get why it's useful and why solos run it, but personally, I find if you're running Necromancer solo, it's only good against other solos because they can't just take the time to babysit you for fear of you having an ally. But if you're up against duos, one of them is just going to watch your body. Are you someone who could tell guns based on sound? Not the new guns, no. Some of the old guns, yes, like Mosin, Nitro, um... Uppercut, uh, sparks, but not much else. Yeah, they'll also burn or trap your corpse, yada, yada, yada. I don't like it. I, 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 don't, uh, I don't much like Necromancer. I get the appeal, but... Ooh, Hellfire Bomb. Ooh, Dynamite Stick. Ooh, Poison Bomb. How fast does Poison do damage? Let's find out. One more, one more check, one more thing, I want to check, one more thing, I want to check how fast this does damage. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh. No wonder that came so quick. Damn. I might like to try this game. You have any useful tips? Uh, play fast, play loose if you're playing solo. Um, if you're not playing solo, play fast anyway, because speed is the name of the game. But use your fucking ears. Uh, listen very carefully. You can kill people through most walls that aren't made of stone in this game. So things like, for example, this wall. A lot of people are going to, like, use these walls to hide. You can kill people through the wall. So don't be afraid to just take shots. Don't let don't let people shoot at you for free. Like that last round when that guy was shooting me through the wall, I immediately fired back with my shotgun to try and create space because I realized he was trying to kill me through the wall. Um, don't be afraid to take shots you don't think you're going to make because it's better to like try to get that kill than miss your opportunity. Uh, and even if you don't kill them, just putting pressure on them is super important in this type of game. Ammo changers, that's cool. I feel like once you realize your hunters are tools too, you become a lot less scared of dying. Yeah, yeah. It's annoying to die, but it's not the end of the world. The only time I get, like, bummed if a hunter dies is if I'm getting pretty close to 50, and that's only because I actually never took the time to earn the achievement for having 10 level 50 hunters when the game was, like, still fresh, and now it's it's pretty hard as a solo to get to 10 50, level 50 hunters safely. Post up, shoot, change positions. Always change positions if you're, uh, always, always change positions if you're, uh, playing solo. There's no reason to sit in the same spot. Honestly, period. Just change positions if you're trying to fight someone from a distance. If you keep peeking the same corner, you're just asking to get shot. I mean, that's true of any shooter, though. Ooh, also, something that I wish more people knew. So no silent movement. There's no such thing as silent movement in this game. There's very, very quiet movement. If you crouch walk, for example, but listen closely. I'm going to shut up. Listen to this. I'm going to turn up the game. Hear that water. Hear that stone. If you're really, really, really listening in this game, you can absolutely still hear someone even when they're being as quiet as they can. Am I late? Yes, no, maybe. I mean, it should, sort of, but, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Basically, if you move at all in this game, people will hear it. The only way to be silent is to hold absolutely still. Two things about this game that I think are good tips. One, don't be afraid to rush somebody in melee. Melee does so much damage. With a regular hand knife, if you hit someone in the chest or the head, it's a guaranteed instant kill. And that's pretty easy. Two... Don't be afraid to sometimes, if you're in a good position and you've got a good lead on what's going on around you, don't be afraid to hold the fuck still. Yes, you should be moving a lot in this game, and when you're, like, holding a position, you want to be wiggling so your head's not an easy shot. You want to be dancing and moving your head and doing stuff like that. But there are times, especially as a solo, when it is a better idea to hold absolutely still because your hunter doesn't, like, breathe or have an idle animation. If you hold still... You're perfectly still, and people in this game are often only looking for movement. So if you're not moving, in a lot of cases, you're just going to blend right in. I've killed so many people just by standing in a bush, not moving at all, letting them approach, and then just tapping them multiple times or hitting them with a knife. Yeah, this game's sound design is insane. Yeah, you can hear the sound of aiming. Listen to this. Listen. First of all, you can hear the gun raise as they hold it up to their, like, as they put it up to their cheek, you can hear them raise the gun, and you can hear the breath as the player starts, or your character holds their breath to aim. Wait till they get hit again, and I'll do it. Now listen. Hear that click and then breath. You can also hear people changing equipment. You can hear them readying melee, listen to this. So the sound design in this game is absolutely crazy. You can definitely tell where people are if you train your ears really well and if you turn the volume all the way up. Like, I've had the volume a little lower, so I've been kind of, in a way, like, hammering myself, but that's because this is a quieter, or cozier stream. But if I turned it all the way up, it sounds like this. Raising my gun to get ready to shoot it has a sound. Prepping it to rifle butt has a sound. Switching guns has a sound. Taking out, like... A grenade has a sound. 
You can hear what type of grenade it is if you're careful. You can hear my beetle ready itself. Every gun has a... Every bullet, every gun has a different firing sound. Listen. That is very different from... And you can tell what guns are what and who has what equipment if you play the game enough and know every single sound. Even, yeah, even the sound of healing has a sound. Here, let me just take some damage from something and I'll show you. Setting traps has a sound. Now listen. When you're bleeding, your character breathes heavily and makes a sound. When you're stopping the bleeding, you make a sound. When you're healing, you make a sound. You can hear the cloth wrapping around my arm and then you hear me breathe out at the end. Everything has sounds. If you're... If you're paying attention, and you've played this game enough, you can pinpoint shoot somebody through walls based on sound. Like, if I heard somebody healing on the other side of this, and I if I know that they've been moving back and forth, there's a good chance they're in this corner or this corner. So sometimes it's a safe bet to just go... Because I can assume that they're somewhere like that. Falling has a sound. Taking fall damage has a sound. Water has very distinct sounds. If you're running in water, it's insanely loud. Especially deep water, listen to this. This is the deep water walking. This is running. Climbing makes grunts, ladders make sound, and the creek as you're walking up them. Incredibly good sound design. By far, this is the game I will always cite when I talk about sound design. I wish... I wish competitive shooters had this sound design. Like, if Valorant had this level of sound design, it would be a very different game. Don't get me wrong, Valorant sound design is good. It's not this good. You can even tell to the degree of what somebody is stepping on by sound design. This is grass. Hear me rustling in grass. Open dirt. Sandbags. Stone. Wood. So you can, if you know the map well enough, you can tell where somebody is based on what they're standing on. Do people play this blind? I don't think you can play it blind, unfortunately. Yeah, metal has a sound. Water, if you know where the water puddles are, sound. Metal, this thing, sound. little sound trap type things have sound if you walk through them. So often you have to stop, crouch, and slowly move through them and then keep moving. The glass on the ground has sounds. Even turning something out like this. Listen. Listen close. I'm gonna turn it up again. Exactly. Uh, chokes are a type of grenade that make a big smoke bomb, and if you walk into them, your character starts coughing really bad, which, one, gives you away, and two, makes it so that you are, your aim is really, really, really bad. Like, your aim just kind of does this number, because you're coughing constantly, which is wild. You're welcome, Serv... 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 <laughs> serv almost got me. You almost had me. I'm in my bug zone. The Zauber's Aiders see the world. <laughs> hey, little guy. That's a good little bug right there. That's a good little bug right there. So, we are bugs. 
Maybe. You'll never know. I could see these guys being really useful for setting off uh, traps and explosive barrels and also for burning corpses, though, yeah. Maybe never. You'll never know. I'll never tell. No, I'm just kidding. You'll know eventually one day. Anyway, this has been on Showdown. How do we feel, gamers? How was our first public 3DO uh, sort of vaguely ASMR, but not really ASMR? So it's basically a recon drone. Oh, yeah, great, nothing. So the way this bug works, it was actually recently added. This didn't used to be in the game. You can throw it up. But you could also make it to like a little explosion. It, it kills itself, but it can explode and do damage to enemies, which is really cool. But basically, yeah, it's a really contra. You can either have it explode and do damage, or you can bring it back to where you're at and drop it on the ground so you can bring it back up. Wait, where'd he go? Did he fall down there? Oh no, he fell in a spot. I can't get to him. No! It's bugged. I got him. We're good. Uh, Everything's okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the delicious soup, Iwashi. Ooh, I lay a little trap. Oh, he'll never expect this. He'll never expect this. <clears throat> now what? Move, I dare you. Fine, don't. I... Did I miss the beetle pets? All right, you get one beetle pet, and then we're calling it. Here's your beetle. That's the one you get. Whoa. Akia, thank you for the delicious crim soup. Oh, holy shit. That is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that you're giving me that because you're pitying the incredible negative 20,000 luck I've had today. And you know what? I needed that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that and weep salty tears into it to, to, to season that soup. Thank you for the Crimsupa. Our favorite menace in the bayou, beleaguered cat dad speaking the language of his children. Game really said play bow more. <laughs> Environmental sound showcase out of 10. Thank you very much. Thank you for the soup. All right, gamers. Um, Real quick, I'm going to tell you what's going on this week and what I've got. What else am I gonna do? There's always something new to explain. Okay, so Wednesday, I will be doing a content warning collab with uh, Battle Haka and Goldie. That is going to be at 9 p.m. EST, so one hour earlier than my usual time uh, for the for the e, for the the uh, American audience. Uh, Thursday, I'm going to play Halls of Torment. It is sort of like Hollow Cure or Vampire Survivors. It is one of those bullet heaven type games where you kind of passively walk around. I'm probably going to treat it mostly like a Zatsu because I get the feeling that's the type of game I could probably play mindlessly without focusing that much. It has a very old school, almost like Diablo 1 art style, which I think is pretty interesting since I, I used to watch my mom play Diablo 1 and that was a lot of fun. Um, Friday, there's going to be an Armist collab. It's probably going to be a super secret game that rhymes with Bontip Morning. Uh, I won't tell you what it is because it's a secret. And then on Saturday, I will be doing my 413 Homestuck special. We're doing it. We're making this happen. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, that's terrible. I'm afraid of that. I hope that doesn't come to pass, but it's too late. I'm already here. I've been here the whole time. So thanks so much for hanging out for Hunt Showdown. Um, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a thing real quick. One second, one second. I got to do the thing, got to do the thing. Hold on. Bracing myself. You've been gathering Homestuck art. I've been doing something like that. Real quick, I do want to get a thing set up before we call it on this one. Though. Wow, my PC is really cooking. To be fair, I played a round of Helldivers before I did stream today just because I wanted to see what Helldivers was like in its current state, so that's on me. I probably got my PC pretty hot doing that, which was my bad, my mistake for not giving it a break. Anyway, we're going to raid over to Octox with Octavio. It is his 12th episode of Octox, and it is post-birthday episode, so please hang out for that. Octavio is uh, a lot of fun, as you probably already know, and he definitely deserves the support, especially after his birthday. Come on, you know you want to hang out after his birthday stream. And as a goodbye, I'm going to give this one little love tap. Prepare your ears, and I will see you all next time. Bye, gamers.
See you for the uh, collab on Wednesday.